Greetings and welcome to another Classrooms in Motion. I'm Dr. Mayretha Willis and I'm glad that you joined me today. We did a video on unpacking the standards and I received questions for more information about the process. So today I'm going to share with you how to plan and implement unpacking the standards in your classroom. So let's begin. One of the first things that I think about when I'm doing this strategy is I want my kids to be engaged in the teaching and learning process. With that end in mind, I want to give them all the information that they need to think about what they should be thinking about in order to accomplish the standard, the assessment, whatever it is that I'm trying to get them to produce. So, here are a few thoughts that I have before we begin. First, let's talk about some of the materials that your students will need in order to unpack a standard out of their textbook. They're going to need highlighters or you can use the color pencils. Those are great to use as well. And again, take maybe two or three and, and hand them out to your students and um, that way they, can, they will have that resource. Also, sticky notes. Now, the sticky notes are a little tricky because you want to give them sticky notes that will allow them enough room to be able to write on if they cannot write in their textbooks. And more often than not, they cannot write in their textbooks. So I like also the larger sticky notes as well and sometimes it's just better to use the smaller ones just for them to mark the pages so those are the materials that your students will need along with the graphic organizer and as you can see i have three different types of graphic organizers the web organizer that you see was developed by Ms. Jackson. I enjoy using the red light graphic organizer and the four corner organizer. And of course, if you find a better way of doing it to meet your students' needs, by all means, do you because you're in the classroom with your students and you know exactly what they need. Welcome back. Now, let's talk about getting your students actively engaged in unpacking an assessment or a standard. We're using WriteSource and students have to respond to a writing prompt. So, obviously, students will not be able to write in this textbook. This is where the sticky notes come into play. And clearly it has here that there is a student assessment. And as I look through the student assessment, I want my students to be able to go through the assessment criteria and determine what it is that they do know, they do understand about what the assessment question is asking them, what they don't understand about what the question is asking them, and what they have to actually do. So, I begin with the sticky notes, and the student has the sticky note, and they begin the process of creating maybe a red light where I do the three circles, or they may do the four corners. Each item has a question for the student. The first question, I do. What do I mean by I do? That's when the students have determined what it is that my teacher needs to teach me in order for me to be successful on responding to this standard or this assessment. We do. These are skills and abilities that we've done in class, that they've worked on before, that they believe will help them accomplish the task. 
So let's talk about if you use graphic organizers, if you use small groups, if you use buddy talk, think, pair, and share. But this is where the students will say, I think if we could do think, share, and pair, that will help me better understand. Or if you use a graphic organizer to guide me through some of the steps, that will help me better understand. And then we would apply whatever we do towards completing the standard or the assessment. And of course, we have you do. This is where the students know what skills and abilities they have that they will bring to the table. And this falls into comprehension skills, writing ability, reading ability, whatever knowledge that they feel very comfortable with is what they would mark under you do. So when can you use the unpackaged strategy? You can use it for assessments and tests. Rubrics are a great opportunity to use the unpacking process. Standards, prompts, and we all know in many textbooks, at the end of a lesson or an activity, there are often questions that students must respond to. Sometimes they're called check your understanding, evaluate the context, response questions. Those are just a few. But most importantly, please remember that this strategy can be used in any content area. So let's get started. And I'm going to walk you through what it might look like when you walk your students through unpacking and assignment. So of course my students, because we are using a textbook and obviously they cannot write in the textbook. I know that there are some workbooks, uh, disposable um, uh, textbooks that students can use. When students have those, that's where your pencils and your highlighters will come into play. So, because we cannot write in this textbook, we are going to have the sticky notes and the graphic organizer. And I want to give you a little bit of um, information on using the different graphic organizers to unpack. Be mindful that one graphic organizer may be a favorite of yours, which is fine. But sometimes the students need to mix it up. With the red light graphic organizer, students can connect that thought process to the real world. Um, yellow, green, red, red stop, green go, yellow pause. And of course, the four corners, which give the students more space to write down different information. So keep in mind to keep it mixed up for your kids. Lastly, Think about unpacking as a journey for the kids. It, it would be like if they're going to Disney World and you tell your kids, hey, we're taking this trip and when we get to Disney World, you are going to go on the water slide. Well, if they know that on the front end, what they are going to encounter, then they will come prepared. Unpacking has the same concept. Also think about going to a doctor's office. When you know you have a doctor's appointment, you normally take a list of your medication, if not bring it with you, or you, um, you have a list of your ailments and you have your records and your referrals. So on the front end, knowing what you are going to do, you come prepared. Unpacking is the same thing. And it's a great strategy to get your students engaged in the teaching and learning process. So here we go. Here's the assignment in this particular textbook. Write a personal essay describing yourself. Follow the process on these pages to create this self-portrait in words. And then on the side, there's an evaluation rubric. So by the time you complete this writing workshop, you will have created a thesis statement that presents the main idea of your essay. Describe your physical traits, inner qualities and favorite activities. We can all say right now um, that that would be pretty easy. That will probably fall into a you do box because the kids will, will automatically get that. They have the skills, the ability and the knowledge to accomplish that. 
Write a coherent paragraph using writing techniques such as effective transitions and parallel structure. I would dare say that they may pause and say, what is that? And that will fall into their I do box. Hey, teacher, I need you to teach me that. End it with a clear and well-supported conclusion. Some students may understand what a well-supported conclusion is. Some may not. Present it an essay that is free of errors in grammar, usage, and mechanics. So, we know what we have to do in order to produce the final product. With that in mind, the students are unpacking this assignment and this rubric on their graphic organizers. They're looking at things that they need me to teach them. They are looking and identifying um, the things that they know that they will bring to the table. They are looking at what is it that I have to do. And they are thinking about what strategies have I used that has helped me in an assignment such as this, brainstorming, reading comprehension, six plus one writing traits. What is it that I have previously used that built my understanding because I want that to occur in the class as I make this journey to complete this assignment. Before we go, I want to share some final thoughts with you on unpacking. We'll be right back. Welcome back. And we're going to conclude this segment with a few strategies and hot tips that I think will help you implement, plan, and evaluate unpacking with your students in your classrooms. Using the gradual release strategy, I do, we do, you do. Keep in mind that the I do is normally a whole group instruction. You are either introducing the lesson, or you have had some type of data that told you, hey, before I let the kids go and begin to practice, I need to do whole group instruction about pre-writing or about brainstorming or about what it means to, to revise or some type of mathematical skill, a scientific method. Whatever it is, you have data that drives the decision you make to do whole group instruction. Monitor your students' engagement. As the students are unpacking, move around the classroom. Get involved with how they are unpacking. Progress monitor. So let's say we unpack on a Monday. Maybe on Wednesday, I'm going to have them come back to their graphic organizer and see where are you on the journey? Where are you as far as our journey to Disney World? If you teach multiple classes, unpack with every class. And once every class has unpacked, go back and find the common themes from each class and place the unpacking on your board. And that way, you can go over with your kids during your opening. This is where we are. This is where we're going. This is what we've accomplished. Maybe we need to add this in. Maybe we can take this out. It's just a great visual in the classroom to keep everyone focused on where you're going. Interactive notebooks are a great tool to use for students to actually unpack in. If you're one of those teachers who are copying, uh, it's not your favorite thing to do. Uh, it's one of those resources that you would prefer not to exhaust um, because you're conscientious about um, going green. I understand that. And if you are using the interactive notebook for the students to create that graphic organizer in is a wonderful way to conserve paper and your time and energy in making copies. If a student is accustomed to unpacking, then during that high stake assessment, they are naturally going to begin to unpack to make sure that they are following the instructions so that they can be successful. If you wanna learn more about unpacking with your students and find some awesome graphic organizers by Teaching on Purpose, visit the website at www.teachingonpurpose.com. I wanna thank you for joining me today for another Classrooms in Motion. Mm -hmm.